On behalf of the judges, Dr. Minyan Ong and myself, it's a great pleasure to announce the winners of the 2021 Homerton College Performance Competition. The competition last ran in 2018 as a live concert. This year has made a comeback after several years, but for obvious reasons, in a rather different format. It's been hugely encouraging to see the efforts and variety of talent among our student community, especially given the challenges which you no doubt faced making these recordings, from background noise to out of tune pianos. These competitions are never easy to judge, and this year has been no exception, so I want to thank everyone who entered and submitted a video for their time, effort and skill, and to encourage you all uh, to enter again in future years if you're able. The overall winner will be an official Homerton College prize winner, and this year I'm delighted that a second and a third prize are also being sponsored by the Homerton College Music Society. So, without further ado, here are the names. Beginning with the HCMS prizes, in third place is Gabriel Duval with his performance of Misty by Errol Garner. In second place, Charlotte Horner's rendition of Meadowlark by Stephen Schwartz. And in first place, the overall winner of the 2021 Homerton Performance Competition is Curtis Lamb performing the last movement from Rachmaninoff's Moment Musical, Opus 16. Congratulations to all three of you. In the video that follows, you'll see the three prize winners perform first of all, followed by the remainder of the entrants.
ago, I had a favorite story of the meadow lark who lived where the rivers wide. Her voice could match the angels in its glory, but she was blind. The lark was blind, and old king came and took her to his palace. The walls were burnished bronze and golden braid And he fed her fruit and nuts from an ivory chalice And he prayed Sing for me, my meadow lark Sing for me of the silver morning A cloth of brocade and cruel, and I'll love you for life if you will sing for me. Then one day, as the lark sang by the water, the god of the sun heard her in his flight, and her singing moved him so he came and brought her the gift of sight. He gave Sight. She opened her eyes to the shimmer and the splendor of oh, this beautiful young god, so proud and strong. And he called to the lark in a voice both rough and tender, Come along, fly with me, my meadow lark, fly with me on the sea. Make a feast of the plums and peaches Just as far as your vision reaches Fly with me But the meadow lark said no For the old king loved her so She couldn't bear to wound his pride So the sun god flew away And when the king came down that day He found his meadow lark I heard that part, I cried. And now I stand here, starry eyed and stormy. Oh, just when I thought my heart was finally numb, a beautiful young man appears before me, saying, Come, oh, won't you come? And what can I do if finally, for the first time, the one I'm burning for returns the glow? If love has come at last, it's picked the worst time. Still I know I've got to go.
so ambitious for a juvenile But then he feels so smart and told me why are you still so afraid? But you know that when the truth is told, that you can get what you 
get poetic way back when we would play outside until the sun went in sounds pathetic let's be friends write a story star of me and you again and we pretend that we Magic superheroes, no capes And though we look like grown-ups I wonder if we know if much has changed Cause we try so hard to be
up to you. You, 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 you were mine, I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when she saw your first letter arrive? She said, be careful with that one, love. He will do what it takes to survive. You and your words flooded my senses. Your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces out of paragraphs. You built cathedrals. I'm rereading the letters you wrote me. I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line for some kind of sign of when you are This girl into our bed and clearing your name, you've ruined our lives. Do you know what Angelica said when she read what you'd done? She said, You've married an Icarus, he has flown too close to the sun. You and your words obsessed with your legacy, your sentences border on senseless. And you are paranoid in every paragraph How they perceive you You, you, you I'm erasing myself from the narrative Let future historians wonder How Eliza reacted when you broke her heart You've torn it all apart, I'm watching it burn Watching it burn The world has no right to my heart The world has no place in our bed They don't get to know what I said I'm burning the memories, burning the letters That might have redeemed you you forfeit the right to my heart You forfeit the place in our bed You'll sleep in your office instead With only the memories of when you were mine I hope that you 